meet the innovators Yannick Page and Gary Matalin. Over the next several weeks, they'll be helping aspiring and struggling entrepreneurs to make more money. Yannick Page is widely regarded as one of Jamaica's most promising young entrepreneurs. She's a certified business trainer and she is now the owner of the award-winning company Future Services International. Gary Metalin is the co-founder and director of New Stone Limited. This successful entrepreneur is also the co-founder of KLE Group, owners and operators of Fiction Lounge and Usain Bolt's Track and Records. This week, they will be joined by guest innovator Samuel Coates, a serial entrepreneur who is also the chairman and CEO of Coates Logistics Limited. Well, I'm here today to meet the innovators to uh, get my business on the right path to transform it, to bring it to another level. Unique, tell us about today's assignment. All right, so today, Gary and Sam, we have Altana Morgan. He is a book manufacturer. He is absolutely struggling and he needs our help. Let's take a look. My name is Altano Morgan and I'm a book manufacturer. I came up with ICANN about two years ago when I went into a bookstore and saw some books and the vision came about. The name Icon came when I was traveling and one of my friends said to us that Altana, the book needs to have a name. What is the name? I was praying, I said, God, what do I call this book? And I heard Icon and I turned to my wife and I said, Tamara, this book must name Icon and she said yes. When my husband came and said that he going to start Icon, to be honest with you in general, so when he comes with any idea, I would be like, yes, that sounds good, yes, that sounds good, and then I just move with the flow. We started the company not to manufacture book, but to outsource book, so we could provide the book. And unfortunately, that didn't work out, and so we got into the manufacturing industry. It's not been good so far, it's been challenging, but we are sticking to the task that we can and we will. Before I decided to come into the business, I read up about persons who have been in business before. So I know that the first couple of years would be smooth sailing. So I wasn't discouraged totally when I saw the loss that we were in initially. I just said that it's going to take time to build up. So I wasn't much perturbed. I can overall cost is rent and electricity and these different things. And that will run you to about about $150,000 per month. So we are more back in payment. So these are the challenges that we are facing. I remember my accountant said to us, he think we should close because we are about $900,000 in debt. We're trying to garner the resources and the know-how and the expertise in going forward. So it's a trial and error period and we're still going forward. Very interesting. Well, let's bring him in. Going in to see the innovators now, I'm nervous to one day, I don't know who is it I'm going to meet, what they are going to do, right, the different aspects of this thing, the whole drama, what is it that they are going to tell me to do and how they are going to get my business back on the right footing and transform it. So I am nervous now and I am hoping for the best. Altana, how are you doing? I'm being nervous. I'm nervous and being okay though. You don't have to be nervous. We want to hear a little bit more about your business. We know you're in debt. How bad is it? Well, I'm in debt over $900,000. I have bills to be paid, rent and stuff like that. But I want to get out of debt. I am working in faith to make this business profitable, right? But it's not faith alone. We have to put in the work behind it. I'll tell you, I said you're in debt $900,000. Did you do a business plan prior to going into business? Yes, we did a business plan prior to going into business. But we tried to find finances for the plan. So what you had to do was just start the plan without the necessary finances in place. The plan was started not to manufacture, but to get someone to manufacture it for us so that we could get the product on the market. But in so doing, um, the product was coming out at a high cost. So we couldn't resell it to the market. We couldn't get it out there. I remember the first time that we took the book to the market, a bookstore ordered 2,000 books. The person that was making the books for us, they couldn't deliver. That is how we started manufacturing. Well, we manufacture from the exercise book, we manufacture the pocket books, comprehension books, the one subject, two subject, five subject books. We also do personalized books, so you can get your pictures on the book if you want to get 
somebody picture on the book, you can get it on the book. So we do personalized books also. Did you do a proper market research to see whether or not manufacturing would be the best route to go or to import those books from overseas from a manufacturer? Books are free in terms of duty. Did you do that um, analysis? Well, I did that analysis, but also that takes a lot of funds to do, right? And because our books are different and unique from what is on the market, it needed to be manufactured here. Products are known to be inferior, and we said, no, we can't have that standard representing Christ, so we still have to live up to a high standard, produce quality products, because people will buy quality. I don't understand. When you say you have an order for 200 and you don't have the stock readily available. 200 isn't a large number of books. Right, it's not a large number of books, right? But you can't make books in small quantities. It's going to cost much more, right? For instance, I can't turn on my machine just to make 200 books. The machine has to be printing at least a thousand books for the day. That is how the printing cost goes down. The more you print, the less it costs. Yeah, I understand how the printing costs work. How many books are you manufacturing per day now? Where? not really manufacturing our books, we are manufacturing, sometimes we don't manufacture books for weeks. So what, what I'm getting is that there's an abundance of, of production capacity, mm -hmm. but there's, it's not being filled it's because it is way underutilized. Fellow innovators, I think the challenge with uh, Mr. Morgan is the fact that it's not that he doesn't have the capacity to produce, it's not that he don't have the opportunity to go out there and see the market, but I think he's undercapitalized and the fact that he's undercapitalized, he cannot produce the mass amount of units that is required to really go out there and fill the needs of the market. So obviously there's scope for growth um, in terms of the production and getting more market share. So the critical thing is finance. Who have you contacted? They said the business in, is in existence established two years ago. Um, you must be banking with a banker. You laugh. So should I take it I keep in the money on their mattress? No. Uh, I call it, just sell the book and just eat the money right away? Because probably that might be the problem, because we need to identify and diagnose exactly what the problem is. Because if you're using the money to feed your family and not pumping it back into the business, then obviously the business can't grow. Each of our books, it has a motivational word on the front page of the book, and on every page there is a motivational word there. So the words in the book encourages me at times. Um, because yeah, in business you feel down yourself and you need motivation. So the words also encourage me to say don't give up. I was born for greatness. I was created for excellence. I'll make a positive impact on the world and nothing will stop me. At the front of the page you have I and there's a blank space for the person's name. For instance, it is Altana Morgan, my name. I will say I, Altana Morgan, can. I can do it when they say I can't. I can make it when I, they say I won't. I can have it when it's far to reach. I can grasp it when it's hard to teach. I can realize it when it's just a dream. I can learn it no matter how hard it seems. Yes, I can. And you see that part about I can learn it no matter how hard it seems? I am saying I can learn this business and make it profitable and beneficial to all, right? No matter how hard it might start out, how, how hard it might seem. Coming up on The Innovators. First thing I do is see you in a t-shirt and I go, no. Manufacturing, marketing, there's a lot of different things going on here. Who runs your company? How does your company operate? Well, I'm here today to meet the innovators, to uh, get my business on the right path, to transform it, to bring it to another level. Have you ever thought to try and utilize your production capacity more by offering printing services to other people? In other words, I understand your concept for the, for the book, I can book, and you know, I'll be honest with you, it looks like a great product. Um, I don't know how you're, what price point you're selling at and how that's comparable to others on the market. But what I can tell you is that if it is that you can't get these out there now for, the, for whatever reason, you may be underfinanced, um, raw materials, that sort of thing. Financing, we definitely need to look at how we get you some financing. But in the interim, you have the equipment and there's a lot of other people out there that are selling different things. It may not be ICANN books, but it requires offset printing. Um, 
what about using those revenue streams to earn some income in, in, in the interim? We have been looking at all these different options, right? And over the years, we were been spending more time trying to get the different things to put us on the map the right way, right? And we've been putting more focus on our business. And we didn't go out and search for other um, printing jobs, right? To get in other jobs, different jobs. Altano, are you a member of the Jamaica Manufacturers Association? No, I'm not a member of Jamaica Manufacturers okay, Association. Um, have you ever met anybody in the book industry of Jamaica? Um, no. Tell me a bit about your, your human resources. You, you, what's your area of expertise? Who do you have working in the business with you? Um, because I get that you have a, a concept which needs selling. Uh, you have a printry which is very underutilized. Uh, manufacturing, marketing, there's a lot of different things going on here. Who, who runs your company? How does your company operate from a well, human resource point of view? My company operates myself and my wife and there is one permanent staff there. My name is Venice Goff. I'm a receptionist slash sales representative here at ICANN. Among other tasks I perform. Well, my initial reaction, this is a really good book because when I came to the interview and Mrs. Morgan asked me to sell the book to her, it was quite easy just to read the words inside the book and to tell the person this is an inspirational notebook I'm giving them. It was very easy. We have printers that come in because we can't keep them full time. We have them part time, right? They will come in at night or whatever to just do print jobs for us when we have the work. And I will do everything. I'm a quick learner, so I just learn every part of the business, cutting down papers, cutting down the books, doing designs for the books. I do a lot of these things. So Altano, we're going to help you. Give us, a, give us a little while. We need to get our thoughts together. You need a lot of work. If you're going to be out there, you're the face of the company, you're selling books, you can't go looking like that. I have to want to meet with you. You have to look like a person of influence and power and you're going to really sell me something and the first thing I do is see you in a t-shirt and I go no. So you must look dapper. Yeah, you have to yeah. go. Swap yeah. off a ton up. Right, you, you, you can't go looking like that, right? So we're going to fix that. Some persons will decide to stay in a boat and just live a life that not fulfilling but sometimes you have to take a step of faith and come from amongst the crowd and just step out and do what you know you're supposed to do. So things will seem crazy, but in God's eyes, that is just faith. Hello, good afternoon. Altano Morgan is my name. Good afternoon, Altano. I've been expecting you. I'm Sophia. Pleasure yes. to meet you. Okay, I understand you're in the market for a suit because you have trying to land a big deal. Let me tell you a little bit about Max Brown Limited when we're styling, especially if it's such a special occasion. We want to pick something that is actually a preference of the client or something similar to your taste. First of all, I'm going to choose something based on the colors that you're wearing because obviously that's what you're comfortable and that's your preference and that's yeah. what you like. So we're going to give you something on an earth tone. Cleaning pants are still in fashion but constructed a lot differently where it's a lot more tailored. Those are a little baggy. Baggy? No man, I like them baggy looks man. Okay, well I'm going to give you something a lot more slim fitting but trust me you'll be comfortable in it. Okay. Okay, so let me show you what we have in one of the earth tones in a suit. Okay. All right. Okay, Altano, I'm going to choose the three that we have in your size in the earth tones. Okay, here's a really dark olive green with a slight, very subtle pinstripe. And then we have a true olive. Okay, fabulous. And then we also have a tone and tone, very light olive, more like a sage color, accented by a blue and a peach stripe. So you tell me which one you prefer to try. Uh, I like this one. Yeah, this one looks good. What's interesting about this fabric has a lot of texture to it. So tell me, what are some of your other favorite colors? Yellow, purple. Purple with this? Fantastic. That's my company's color. That's great. Okay, so purple will be fantastic with that. So let's find you a shirt that can coordinate nicely in your size. Okay. Well, my experience at Max Brown was great. They showed me how to put myself properly together as a business person and the different arrays that we can work on. Mm, very, very nice. So before I make any further comment, please look in the mirror. Oh my God, this, this suit really looks good. The pants don't feel that baggy and feels tight on me. I thought it would be tight. And these pants are actually two inches smaller than the pants you were wearing 
and they're non pleated. They've been more tailored and see how comfortable they are? Yes, they're comfortable and I love the colors. So. Oh, you look amazing. The lilac works very well with that dark olive. It looks very, very nice on you. What I have learned over the period in putting my business on a better footing to go forward, strategical planning, getting the resources out there, marketing, making people know who we are. A lot of people read The Observer and my business in The Observer will do great for us. Still to come on The Innovators. If you're giving them a product that they're not getting approximately 40% discount, you're not competing with the products they are bringing in from overseas. If you don't offer that, you can understand why they would choose to go elsewhere. Morgan, welcome. Good to see you. Looking very sharp. Yes, man. Yes, yes. I'm looking sharp. I'm feeling sharp, right? I'm feeling great. Fantastic. Altana, tell us what's been happening since we saw you last. Well, since you last saw me, right, uh, I went to the Jamaica Manufacturing Association. Altana, thanks for coming down to the JMA to see me. Um, I realize that you're having some problems in getting your business going, and I want to tell you that you're in the right place. We're here to assist small and micro companies like yourself to grow your business and get your product name in the market. I know you spoke specifically about marketing, and I want to say that the JMA biggest initiative is what we call a Buy Jamaican, Build Jamaica campaign. As a small company, I know you will need other services to grow outside of just marketing, and I want to let you know that we offer training as well. Okay. So you might need training in specific areas, and we can work with that. I am glad for what I'm hearing, right, the opportunities, sounds great because all this information that I didn't know and I know that it can bring my business forward and propel it into the future right and I'm going to be a part of this organization right now my trip to the Jamaica Manufacturers Association it's been great I am now a member of the Jamaica Manufacturers Association and they are helping me to get my business running properly funding they are doing so much things I can just take up the phone and call them and they give me good advice. We went to Mr. Frank McGibbon and he also was the past president of the Jamaica Book Association and he loves our product, he loves the idea of our books and he's looking at how we can get more market for us, how we can be out there transforming ICANN to make it be a bigger brand. I know one of the things I want us to have a look at you see, is understanding what your product is, the success of your business depending on understanding your product and your target market and the channel that links both of them. So one of the things we have to ensure is that as we look at it, we can identify areas that, um, that will cause major success in your business and we can identify the weaknesses. So I'll tell you, you have told me so much about your products and I want us to just look at a basic concept. Okay. So this is your products, right? P, so your product. And this is your target market. We have to know try and connect your product to your target market. Your target market, I presume, is primarily the education market. Let us see how we can get your products into the hands of consumers. This middle section here, we call it the channel. Let's call the channel the bookstores. How do you get your books into the bookstores? The bookstore's perspective is any major bookstore uptown pays over $500,000 per month for rental. And that has to be paid out of profit. Yes. So if you're giving them a product that they're not getting approximately 40% discount, you're not competing with the products they are bringing in from overseas. I'm not sure what you offer now. If you don't offer that, you can understand why they would choose 
to go elsewhere. Frank McGibbon, I love what I'm getting from him and his enthusiasm and his experience that he's giving to me, his knowledge that he's telling me about my products and how I could get it better is great. Should I take it that they're making more money? No, no. <laughs> No, we're not making more money as yet. Um, what it is though is that the platform is set for us to make more money. The platform is set for us to come out of debt, right? The platform is now set for people to hear about ICANN and, and be there and come out and get ICANN products, right? The different things that we have to offer, right? So the platform is there. Altan, I'm feeling you. I'm feeling this, this energy and this drive and this uh, abundance of positive feel good I'm so proud of you yes because one of the things is that yes we are always saying we want to put that energy into people right to tell them that they can right so we have to have that energy to believe in ourselves that it doesn't matter how you start right is the finishing right you might start rough and you rock rock and, and you, you drop and you brush off but you stick to the task right and we have dropped and brushed off right and innovators came in right and put us on the next platform, right? Brush us off and shine us up and now we are glowing. Well, my friend, my recommendation to you is that you have to remain focused and you have to reinvest some of the monies that you're earning from your business back into the business. Right. And you have to identify a mentor or mentors to assist you along the way. And you can't do it by yourself. You're gonna no. need other skill set, other experts to come in and assist um, with your business development as your business grow. You need other professionals to assist you along the way. So for example, you need to have a lawyer, an accountant, etc. cetera, persons to guide you in terms of a contract signing because you're not running a little thing on the side. You're running a business that has the potential to list on the Juno Stock Exchange one day. So you have to think big, have the support system, and ensure that as it relates to your personal department, you have the right persons for the right job. That is it, and I, I thank you for all the different advices that you have given to me so far, right? And I am going to use them, right? Not just take them up because we can't do it alone, right? Nothing we can achieve by ourselves. We need people, right? And that is what we want to say. Guess what? I have to first believe in myself, believe in what I can do, right? Before I can go to somebody else and say, guess what? If I don't believe that I can do it, somebody else can help me, right? So that is it, and I am glad for what? Is happening here today. Thank you very much. I think Carlton has a, a great prospect and he's very passionate. He knows what he's about. Um, he said he's a fast learner and um, obviously um, he's willing to take the risk necessary to become a successful entrepreneur. Altano has endless potential. I mean, I would invest in Altano's business. Altano is the type of person that he's going to succeed one way or the other. I mean, he, he has the drive, he has the right attitude, his personality. He will do well. He will do exceptionally well. I believe it is realistic for us to move our books off the shelves. Um, it's just a matter of putting the right things together or putting the right persons together and just getting the right kind of advice. It's just about getting the message of I can out there because it's not just about a book, but it's about a product that really transforms my life and have the ability to transform not just a one life, but many lives. Well, I'm feeling great about my future and I'm glad that I've been innovated by the innovators. The innovators Yannick Page and Gary Matalin. Over the next several weeks, they'll be helping aspiring and struggling entrepreneurs to make more money.
Yannick Page is widely regarded as one of Jamaica's most promising young entrepreneurs. She's a certified business trainer, and she is now the owner of the award-winning company Future Services International. Gary Metalin is the co-founder and director of New Stone Limited. This successful entrepreneur is also the co-founder of KLE Group, owners and operators of Fiction Lounge and Usain Bolt's Track and Records. This week, they will be joined by guest innovator Samuel Coates, a serial entrepreneur who is also the chairman and CEO of Coates Logistics Limited. Well, I'm here today to 